Good morning, everybody, and thanks for joining me. And this is Robin. I'm Katad and Cooking Mom, and I got some coffee right there, and I'm drying out some paper for my journals. So I did this before I left. I got butternut that I have to do up, and I'm going to take you outside, and I'm going to show you what's going on. A prepper preps for everything. So let me just show you what's going on. I got the girls out this morning. Hi, girls. Hi, girls. Show you the beautiful colors and what's going on at the homestead so we just went to the dump and this is what a prepper does you see that we got a supply of wood and then because i found these knobs on this drawer i can use them so to um bring it back and try to get them off for me but look at all this this is all mocked down $2.99 for chicken. We also got subs for $1.75. We got some burgers for $1.99. We got pork chops for $2.99. Two packages of them, three packages of chicken, and a great big ham. And the ham is not marked down. This is $11.43. This is going to give me a couple meals. So I might have to cook these today. So I'm willing to do that, like put the chicken in a crock pot or something. I'm going to check it out when I get in there. And I might have to cook that today. So I'm going to let Woody take that in the house. I'm going to show you the beautiful colors around. And I'm going to also show you, too, what I've got in this bag. I got this at the dump in the compost pile. I got green bean seeds right there. I got a couple of them. And I also got some peppers right, right in the bag there. See them peppers? And I also got a plant um, right here that I'm going to root up for a house plant. But anyways, I got them for seeds. I'll just show you what's going on in the homestead. Over here in the gardens, we're in a, into our fall weather. We got the greenhouse over here this year. I'm gonna remove that. A lot of my plants are gone, going to dormancy, but I still got quite a bit going on over here. He already dug it down for next year. And um, he's got it all covered and he's gonna get that ready come spring. And if I get some compost, I'm gonna add it to it and mend the soil. But um, I got to go in here and take some more horseradish out. My raspberries are looking great. Um, over here, I found out about my grapes. I should have gone in and cut them back. So now what I need to do, I'm going to show you. I got to take all these runners here off and go right down to this here. And I got to cut it back to three inches. So this is a lot of work and I'm going to have to try to work on this before it gets we get our um, white death. We got the arbor there that's going to fall over so we need to fix that. Um, we got the shelves all stacked up. I'll show you the girls coop. All my apple trees I need to find something that's healthy to make sure we don't have worms because the worms really attacked our apples. I did get some good ones, but the girls are headed right back out there because they free range. Got our wood stack. And of course, we got our wood supply. So that's our homemade clothesline. And uh, we got our wood supply in here, which I'm not going to open up. And let's see what we got for eggs in the chicken house. We got an inside outside pen. He just put the plastic on that so they can go out there in the winter, but they'll be warm. He's got to add some more hay in here. And let's see what they've done already. Yeah, she's following me in here. Look at that. We've already got eggs in, in, we got clutches of them. So I got to gather these up and take these in. I'm going to show you chicken three ways. We got a haul at the store and I got three packages of chicken. One is in the oven with salt and pepper on it. We've, I've got one here parboiling. I'm going to add some onion to it to give it some flavor. 
I just got to wash that off and put my onion in. And I'm also going to add some onion to this chicken in the crock pot. I'm going to add this can of green chilies. I'm going to dump that right in. That's going to go for chicken fajitas or um, like a southwestern type of chicken. And I'm going to add some salt and pepper. And I'm just going to let this cook. Or I'll put this in burritos, tortillas, to roll that up. So that's all ready for one dish. This one's going to be for dinner because this one has to be used right away. And this one here, I'm going to add some salt and pepper because I already got my onion in there. I'm going to use this for stock as well. I didn't have no celery, but I might have celery salt. If I find some celery in the freezer, I'll throw that in. You can add a carrot to give it lots of flavor. I want to see what I got. I got some, um, I got some garlic powder. I'm going to add some of that. You add what you have. You make do. So I'm going to add some garlic powder. I'm going to give that lots of flavor. So if I find some celery powder or some celery, I'll throw that in. But I'm going to let that cook. And when that's cooked, I'm going to take that broth and I'm going to use that for stock and I'm going to use the chicken. So I just wanted to share three ways you can do your chicken. So we've got chicken in the oven with salt and pepper, just regular chicken in the oven. We're going to serve that with um, like veggies and a salad or potato and then you got the chicken with the green chilies over here and onion they go in burritos for burritos and then you got chicken right here that you can use the stock for another meal or you can make a soup you can make a pie you can make a casserole you can use this chicken for um, chicken salad you can just take your chicken out make it into a chicken salad and use your broth so just giving you some ideas on how to go get chicken real cheap in the store take it home make sure it's good or take it back to the store or prepare it right then and there or freeze it so thanks for joining have a great and blessed day bye bye